To start, I would like to show a large collection of subliminal messages, some found by me, noted by the watermark of my website, some found by others. I would love to get right into the in-depth, meaningful questions. I can see by the comments I receive, though, that the base issues need to be first established. Subliminal messages by the 1980s had been researched over 500 times. In the U.S. in 2007, 279 billion dollars was spent on advertising. That's over 2% of our entire economy. That's more than the entire economies of all but 30 nations. These first few have peaceful double meanings, the G and the smiley face here. It's an N, it's a W, and it's a compass pointing northwest. A bear in the mountain. A to Z, and a smile. This subliminal I found is a blatant sexual reference. This mermaid has two leg fins. Her leg fins are outlined. How does this image make you feel? Did you notice the smiley heart? And did you know the towel is the figure of a woman, I guess the mother? This is a common soda machine. We have a female laying across the top. While shopping at Lowe's, I noticed this alien head on the water machine. Well-known Disney subliminals. This one caused a redesign of the package. This one caused a product recall. This scene was removed in 2003 with the pathetic SFX excuse. Typical skull based on the psychoanalytical death wish. Sexplosion. They know everything about you. It's no mistake. Fast food phalluses. Do you see any of the three female sets of lips embedded in the background of this poster? Embedded Devil This product's only marketing strategy is sex Even the Methodists do it The passion is far more frightening. This is the nude goat woman, Baphomet. Typical faint sex in bed. In later episodes, I will explain in depth the psychology of sex and death in beds. These ads are from the 1940s and 1950s, which mark the beginning of subliminal embeds in ads. I will detail the history in a later episode.
This is very primitive. It's not like this anymore. They stick to what works best, sex and death. I'm always getting a bunch of misspelled insults as comments. 99% of the time, I've shown a subliminal in a movie or game that the viewer militantly identifies with. It's an amazing lesson in human behavior to see someone totally blinded by bias. Many of these illusions are based on making one object look like another. There is also some displacement, where they put something where it doesn't typically belong. easy to see subliminal sex two cloak skulls similar to the one in the main image In Picasso's The Dream, the woman can be viewed two different ways. One of them includes a penis. These are very typical embeds for movie posters. There's a nasty surprise in this game's pre-order cover. This is the GameStop skin for the same game. Can you detect the written word? This one is almost amateur. The back of a woman. This is the other side. An artistically drawn face. Maybe someone wants to talk about coincidence. Considering the effort put into the ad design, coincidence is one in a million odds. These people are supposed to make sure there's no subliminals in alcohol ads. They may want to check their own graphics. Rich people using power to control the masses is not a conspiracy theory. There are no UFOs here. Natural surfaces do not have skulls or the word sex. Stop telling me about staring at your wall. Tell me why they are almost never on ads before the 1950s. The FCC is supposed to make sure subliminals are not in TV, but they've never accused anyone. The actual content and the drawing style of the subliminal embeds have actually changed with time. In the 50s, they didn't have skulls all over everything, although they still used the word sex. Money has subliminals. We will explore why later. Subliminal sex in comics. I plan to cover in this series the hows and whys of subliminals in extreme depth. All legitimate questions are welcomed so I can know better what to address. There is a small skull below the moon. The skull appears here again on the web page. This is the Twilight New Moon DVD menu. 
My wife also has the ability to find subliminals, and she helps me find material. This illusion is based on the placement of the models. The picture coming up, my wife, my mother-in-law, is a famous illusion depicting a young and old woman both. Which do you see? Once you see one, it's hard to see the other. The following illusions are similar. Same type of illusion, a little more sexual. Don't take my word for it. Research subliminal sex or subliminal advertising. I will have book reviews in future episodes. Disney has some insane fans that freak out about this one. Many of my YouTube subscribers and viewers have personally told me they have the ability to see subliminals. Here are a few subliminal messages from my Wonder Pet subliminal messages video. The Horn Skull. The Angry Face. More horn skulls and a face in the bush. And an easy to see face on the house. If you plan to attack me, be aware I bite back. Mindless insults only show me you are a clueless child. This movie's Friday debut was on 9-11, and the 9-11 symbolism is clear. A T-Rex and a face in the smoke. I'm not even scratching the surface of how many of these are out there. Some people say, so, what's wrong with sex? Nothing! What's wrong is promising sex with a deodorant ad. I encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you really want to know about subliminals. I will not be wasting your time. Get closer to the ones you love. Oh look, the impregnated gingerbread woman gives birth to a gingerbread baby. Here are some examples for artists in training that are from a leaked ad agency training manual. For people in denial, this is where you click the little X because this may be damaging to the idea that advertisers are anything but mind manipulators. This is the actual ad. This is the artist's concept drawing. A outline of the subliminal embeds. Another from the admin's training manual. And another from the advertiser's training manual. The artist's rendition is on the left. A look into the illusions. 